What should I do? Where do I go? Who do I turn to? And when does life really begin? At the moment of conception, a miracle takes place. God, the author of life, knew you and created you. And so it begins, a heartbeat, a symbol of life, even before a woman knows she's pregnant. She has eyes, and she has ears, and she has the rhythm of a heartbeat. She has fingers, and she has toes, and she has the rhythm of a heartbeat. She can smile, and she can frown, and she feels the rhythm of her heartbeat. She can now suck her thumb, and she can even feel pain as she listens to the rhythm of her heartbeat. She's fully formed now, every part knitted by God. He created her very being, even the precious sound of her very own heartbeat. But sometimes the crisis is just too great, and sometimes we eliminate the child instead of eliminating the crisis. You are about to view a clip from a documentary entitled Set Free. Listen closely as you witness a conversation between our Heavenly Father and a child that was once aborted. Father God, when is my mommy going to be here? Soon, my child, soon. She is busy right now doing the work I've given her to do. Is she going to know me when she gets here? Yes, she will, my child. I'll let her know. What does she look like, Father God? Why, she looks a lot like you, my child. The same color hair, the same eyes, the same nose. You resemble her a lot. What do you think she's going to do when she sees me? She will run to you, take you in her arms, and love you just as any other loving mother would do. Father God, why has she never held me in her arms before? She never had the chance to do so, my child. Why didn't she never have the chance, Father God? I don't remember, my child. Hello, everyone. My name is Beth Sharp, and this is my daughter, Sarah Beth. And today is the day that we have set aside to celebrate life, and to celebrate life abundantly. 36 years ago, I was faced with an unplanned pregnancy, and it saddens me to tell you that I made the decision to end that child's life. 24 years ago, I was faced with another unplanned pregnancy. And once again, I made the decision to end that child's life also. However, it was through the power of prayer that my daughter's life, Sarah Beth, was spared from an attempted abortion. I will say this, there is power in prayer. And I'm gonna say that again, there is power in prayer. So don't ever think your prayers don't count because they do. So let's pray today for those that are facing an unplanned pregnancy. May they have an opportunity to experience God's unplanned joy. And for those that have already chosen abortion, may they too have the opportunity to experience God's love, God's mercy, and most of all, God's forgiveness. And we need to remember this, no matter what, God can take your biggest problem and turn it into your biggest blessing. Thank you for celebrating life with us today, and to God be the glory.